Hello, I'm Iman. I am a master's student from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and I'm based in Singapore. We are not on lockdown in Singapore and we are currently only practicing social distancing and a lot of people are beginning to work from home uh, wherever they can, wherever their work allows them to. Schools are beginning to uh, implement a one day a week home-based learning system and this is perhaps in preparation for possible uh, increase in staying at home that we might actually expect over the few weeks if uh, things don't slow down. And as we've seen elsewhere, my concern is that um, families that face domestic violence and uh, other family-related abuse, how this is going to impact them because the change in how we live our lives uh, and with the increased time spent at home together with your abuser and not being able to reach out to social services that are otherwise available and having a, a, a time window during the day where you can actually reach out to these services or your family and friends who provide you that safe uh, support network how this is going to affect them. And we have seen increased reports of family violence, even in China during the COVID-19 outbreak. We have heard of reports uh, in New York. We have heard concerns being raised about the same issue in Europe. And I think it is important that even in Asia, we consider the possible effects of quarantining and isolation and lockdowns across the region. Um, and governments need to be thinking about how they will address this and how they'll make uh, services available. Going online isn't going to help uh, people uh, access the services they need because their abusers are right next to them. So it is vital that uh, social services are able to reach out to these people in some way. There have been uh, suggestions of making available social services that reach out to domestic violence uh, related issues uh, an essential service which means that they stay open throughout this uh, situation. I think analysts need to also be looking into these long-term effects and it is important that we have a gendered perspective uh, to look at uh, similar issues that will um, crop up as people spend more time at home, especially in vulnerable groups. And as economic impacts hit home, uh, it is very likely that these situations are exacerbated. Um, and so this is something that I've been thinking about a lot, and I think it's uh, important that attention is drawn to this. Thank you.